What's going on everybody? Today we're going to do a cabin air filter change on my new to me Toyota 4Runner. The cabin air filter we're going to use is the Fram Fresh Breeze CF10285. First thing you're going to do is open your glove box. Then remove any paperwork or anything else you have in there. And then you'll notice at the back of the glove box there's a small door with two tabs. One, two. You can remove those tabs and open this door. Behind the first door you'll notice there's another white door with two tabs, one on each side. Those need to press in from the sides, so you can remove those, press in, and pop that door out. This is the one that seals the filter in. As you can see the filter is right behind this door, and you're going to want to remove the filter very slowly because a lot of leaves and debris builds up on top of these filters. The fan is just below this filter, so if you knock anything down there, it may make a noise next time you turn on your AC or heat. And looking at my filter, you can see it was well overdue for a change. Just double check that you haven't knocked anything down into the fan, and you should be good to go to put the new filter in. Filter for all 2010 to 2024 runners is the Fram Fresh Breeze CF10285. I'll leave a link for this filter in the description below. Here's what the new one looks like, and you're going to want to reinsert it into the slot, and the air go airflow goes from the top to the bottom. So if you notice on the filter itself, it has an arrow pointing down. That's because the airflow is from the top to the bottom there. Then when you reinsert the white cover, you're going to notice there's an up arrow on the actual cover. So make sure that's facing up, and then reinsert it and snap it into place. Then you take the black cover, and you notice there's three tabs on the bottom. Make sure those slot into place, and then top two clips clip in. And that's it. Now you've replaced the cabin air filter on your 4 And if this video helped out, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. All right, we'll see you in the next one.